안녕! Here we are, we're under the Equina Bay Bridge this morning. To get some clams. Looks like Dave might have found a couple up here. Let's go check it out. I find the, the hole. You can take this dowel and they have their horse neck thing comes up and you just put that on there and it'll just slow lower it down. He's way down there. Him. Yeah. It is very mucky. This will be a challenge. Three of them, and that's a. It's <coughs> enough for a chowder for two people. Yeah, we got three. We don't want to take any more than we need, and we don't have really room to freeze them or anything. So they're thick out there, but sometimes you find them in the softer sand or the harder sand, and they're easy to dig out. They're all in the real wet sand. It's hard to dig them out when they're that deep. So there's tricks to it. We don't. Can, we don't have the skills. Yeah, well, you can take like a five or six gallon bucket, cut the bottom out dig down a ways and then shove that down in there keeps the sides from caving in then you can dig down and grab them but i think we did good ain't got a bucket no we are not carrying a bucket with no bottom in the van <laughs> we were just kind of going all native and just digging them out with our hands well dave got all the clams cleaned Let's show you we we spared you the details of actually cleaning clams there's a lot of videos online how to clean clams but here's the clam meat that we got. We're headed out to camp today, Alsea Falls. Now that's where Dave went mountain biking not long ago with his friend Simon. It's so awesome he's taking me now. So, And we actually want to hike into the falls. He didn't get to see the falls. So what I'm getting at is we're going to head out there and make chowder. We're going to break down camp here and by that I mean we're going to like start the engine and drive away. <laughs> So we had to stop and get groceries before we headed out to camp and we're stopping at the best grocery store in Newport. It's um, JC Market Thriftway and they have the best smoked steelhead. What I'm going to do is make a chowder but I'm going to put smoked steelhead in there. So yeah, They do it all in house. Just... Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, look at this weather. Just look outside, okay? Just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Headed for some sunshine, guys. This campground is amazing. It is all in the trees. Just fixed us up some lunch. Maybe walk to the falls later. It's just like a quarter mile here from where we're at. Oh my god, I love salamanders. That 
was a nice walk. Yeah. It's going to be a good day. Next stop, Chowder Town. Let me give you the lowdown on my chowder. First, I'm going to saute some onions, celery, and carrots. I'm going to add potatoes uh, and gar minced garlic, and then uh, bouillon and water, and then the magic happens. <laughs> So what I have in here is raw cashews. I've soaked them to get them a little bit soft. So I'm gonna take this in and I'm gonna fill it up with the liquid, blend it for several minutes, dump it back in, do it again. I'm gonna scoop in more of the potatoes and that's my thickening. So check it out. Now I'm gonna bring it back up to temp. I'm adding some corn. Back up to temp, we're adding the clams and the smoked uh, steelhead. This, my friends, is a campsite masterpiece. Best chowder ever. Van life. See you on the flip side.